Okay, so my th uh, second trick, um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a loop which I've created and instead of feeding it through something else and turning knobs and messing with it, I'm going to actually cut the loop up real time using 16 pads on my pad control. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this loop here. It's kind of a nice, kind of funky loop. Um, I'll just give it a kick, kick drum, kick drum and a bass line. Maybe this one. There we go. So, back to the Skanks one loop. I've, what I've done is I've duplicated this loop 16 times. So I've got 16 copies of this one loop. And each copy, I've changed the start point forward quarter of a beat. So I've got 16 loops, which are here. One through 16. And each one, you can see this little arrow. It uh, moves across each time I go down. So number three starts on the starts there, from the four starts there, and so on and so on. So what that means is I can take, I can hit these buttons, start those loops, and I can do quick edits of that loop. So let's show you. Or I can, what I can do is change the uh, change the level of sensitivity so I can get really really fast and do real quick things. So, that, so that's um that's another thing I do. That's trick number two. That's what I like to play around with. It's 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 good fun, especially when you've got something which is really really tech and you can just you know, just, you just go nuts. It's like playing a video game. It's awesome fun. And it looks really cool too. You can... Yeah, cool. Trick number two.